once you begin to move according to your faith, your faith will always bring results. Are you hearing me? But you see, you have to make a decision to get out of your comfort zone and to fight for your destiny. You have to make a decision to take a risk. Because how many of you understand that this woman was taking a risk? She was not supposed to leave her house. She was not supposed to come among other people. She was unclean. She was not supposed to be in the company of other people. But when you're desperate, desperate people will do desperate things. Desperate people will use their faith. Are you hearing me? Desperate people will begin to take steps of courage. Will begin to use their courage. And will begin to move forward. Tell your neighbor, say, take a risk. I don't know what you believe in God for, but take a risk. If it's to open the business, take the risk. Come on, take, go get alone. Come on, somebody. If you need a co-signer, go get the co-signer. Uh, see, 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 we always want something for nothing. We don't want to have to do anything to get something. Come on, somebody. Yeah, but see, if you're going to embrace, if you're going to do the big, if you're going to live large in life, you're going to have to learn to press. You're going to have to learn to persevere. You're going to have to learn to take risks. You're going to have to learn to use your faith. You're going to have to learn to take steps of courage. Are you hearing me? Look at him one more time and say, you need to take the risk. I don't know what you believe in God for, but you need to take a risk. My God. And so she spoke to herself. She began to use her faith. And the third thing she started doing was she began to press. She began to press. Because see, she was at a place in her life and it's like, what do I have to lose? What do I have to lose? I, I'm, I'm going to take the risk. What do I have to lose? I've already looked to man. Man don't have the money. Man don't have the answers. Man Man can't help me. What do I have to lose? And so she began to press. But watch this. She pressed past the critics. Uh, see, see, that's where a lot of us miss it. That's where a lot of us don't obtain the blessing. Because we're too people conscious. We're too worried about what somebody else thinks. Come on, somebody. Huh? You will always have critics. There will always be people who think you're too fat, you're too black, you're too white, you're too ugly, you're not educated. Oh, good God Almighty. Hallelujah. But if you're going to destiny, you're going to have to pass. You're going to have to go past your critics. Let the naysayers say whatever they want to say. Are you hearing me? So you got to get to a place in your life to other people's opinion doesn't really matter. As long as you know you've heard from God, that's all that matters. But we find ourselves going in circles because we're just so worried about what so-and-so are thinking. If I do that, what they going to think? It? If I marry him, what they going to say? I'm going to say that one again. If I marry him, what they going to say? Come on. Come on. Come on. Critics will always have something to say. They'll always look for fault. Come on. You have haters that, that, that you had not done anything to deserve those haters, but haters are always there. You gotta go past your critics. You gotta go past the opinion of men. You gotta get to a place where you hear them but you're not listening. 